morning guys um i wanted to show you guys a little cool mushroom it's growing right out back in my backyard uh this is called the paziza just a brown cup mushroom um they grow quite a bit in the northern united states areas and um they're just a little brown mushroom they don't have much edibility to them um, they do have edibility, I should say, but on a very slim note. Um, they're mainly found out in uh, Great Britain, Ireland area, and if prepared right, you can't eat them. There's not much taste to them. Uh, the texture is, is kind of like, um, oh, like a cheap meat bologna texture to them. So I don't recommend eating them, but they are a cool little mushroom to know. Um, they grow low to the ground in a cup shape, and Baziza actually is a uh, derivative from um, Latin word foot, meaning that they don't have any stem stalk, they look like they're just cups sitting on the ground. And um, what they do do is they rele release quite a bit of spores. Um, so when you tap on these, you'll see the spores just kind of float through the wind and they're commonly found around like what you see here is my log pile uh, decaying wood and mossy areas I have a good ground moss cover here next to my wood pile and uh, I was able to find these now this is the beginning of summer and it's actually a little bit rare to find these like in this bloom because it is a large bloom of them um, so you guys can see there's some right there and down all the way down through there. It's called a Paziza, and uh, they're just a cool little cup mushroom to look at. But a lot of people do get them confused with wood ears. Now, wood ears are edible, and um, there's not a lot of taste texture to them, but they are edible. But these, I would not recommend to put on your table, uh, simply because they're very hard to prepare, and if not prepared right, they are toxic. Um, but a big feature about these is when, especially right now it's early morning, the dew's on, but when it dries up today, you'll, I'll be able to just flick these and you'll see the spores just kind of float through the air and they spread quite well, but they always grow in little colonies like this. So if you see one, there's a whole bunch more around it. Um, just a common mushroom, no, don't eat it, um, but they are cool to know. Like I said, they are descendants from Ireland in great britain that's where you find a lot of them uh, but it's basic there's over a thousand species of this i don't know exactly which size of this is uh, i think it's called like batiosa or something like that i'm not quite sure but they're very they feel like a very thin rubber like a thin rubber dishwashing glove is the best way to describe it but they do rip right apart pretty easily and uh, nice little mushroom to know as you can see forms the cup shape into the ground and that's where it would stem out where that rip is so don't eat these you can identify them all day long spread the pores if you want they're good for ground cover and um, also these are a good mushroom to take crumple up and put into um, your topsoil mixtures your, um, for your gardens and stuff really provide a lot of nutrients for your, for your dirt. So, but yeah, so there it is, folks. The Baziza mushroom. Go out, look for it, identify it, send me a picture if you find one, and uh, we can discuss it further.